Partner, call the roll. Commissioner Vanilla. Here. Commissioner Hightower. Here. Commissioner Webb. Here. Commissioner Goss. Here. Mayor Butler. Here. Okay, first item is to uh, open the uh, bids for. You want to do the minutes? Last do the meeting. minutes. A last meeting. I was just anxious to get this out of the way, but okay. Anybody have any question or addition for the minutes of their last meeting? If not, they will be approved. Now, okay, do we have any bids for the demolition of the five houses There's listed? Two, two we got two. Bids. You want to, you want how you want to do it. We got two bidders, Neat Cut and. Uh, well. And there's five, no, those, those five each each uh, separate. Yes. And I don't know. Once you look in there and see what's look there. Look in there and see if they're separate. <clears throat> hey, what is this? You can't come over here. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't good, don't they? You really ain't getting eight pretty good. Do you have them all on one sheet? Uh, yeah, well, Tara Pro has all of them. But they are bid separately. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what's the first one we got? I'll read 500 West Klein. Or you got 500 West Klein? Okay. That one is 3,200. 3200 from whom? From Terra Pro Excavating. T E R R A. Terra Pro. Okay. What did you have? Uh, I haven't got to that one yet. I got it right here. No, John, tell me it's the last one. Hold on. John, John apparently went out, bought the good envelopes. <laughs> okay, this is from Neat Cut, 500 West Klein, tear down house, Hall DP approved landfill, level lot, $3,200. dollars 32 yes. What was the other bid? 32 32 for 500 $32,500. What was your bid over there? Klein, 3200 32 Even? Mm-hmm. Okay. What are you going to do? <clears throat> well, let's come back to that. <clears throat> All right. Which one have you got? For which one are you going to do next? Or just go by whatever's the, on your deal there. Yeah, I got for 301 South Future, 1800 Hundred. Mm -hmm. Even. Okay. Do you have that one? Yes. Twenty-two fifty. How much? Twenty-two. Twenty-two fifty. What did I give you for good all again? Did I give you twenty-three hundred for that. You haven't given good all. We haven't given good all. Oh, you just, we gave. did five hundred Klein and three hundred one South Peak. Well, good all is twenty-three hundred then. Okay, you got twenty-three hundred for good all. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let's. We had West Klein, South Future. Now are you talking? Good all. Good all. Good all. 1,003 good all. 3,000. Does his include living the lot? 3,000 or 2,300? 2,300. Does his all include They don't have any description on there. They he doesn't say it about living the lots. Uh -huh. Well, I'd have to be subject to, uh, subject to the specs. Uh, subject the to specs, the yeah. Okay, what was that figure? 2,300. Okay, what do you... 2,000. 2000. 1003 was good all. Okay. East Jefferson. I have 3800 for Terra Pro. You said 30? 3800. East Jefferson. 4100. Okay. East McKinley. I have 4,000 South McKinley. Okay, it should be East McKinley. Right? East McKinley, yeah. I got 7,200. How much? 7,200. Are they going to build a new house, too? Neat cuts. Yes. 
Hmm. That's unusual. That's pretty good. Yeah. You have <clears throat> baseball well, something in there? What? Well, uh, now, now, but listen. Here, here's the deal. He doesn't tell what he's doing in his. Before you award him, you need to make sure he's yeah. there. Right. He's tearing down the house, hauling off to an EPA-approved landfill, leveling the lot, and and filling a basement and taking out the trees. I don't think he did. What's your total on all of, all five? Well, it doesn't matter. Well, we're, we're gonna we're gonna we, we, we got to take them one at one at a time because. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Well, now we got. To, let's go back to the first one. Uh, they both bid thirty-two hundred. Twenty-two fifty. No, five hundred was kind. Oh, five hundred was kind. Well, I apologize. Thirty-two hundred for mine. Is that what you got? Okay. Yep. What did Meat Cut say that we're going to do for that? Uh, tear down house, haul off to the EPA approved landfill, level lot. Okay. And there's no description, just figures. All they said to just gave us a price. Mm -hmm. So, how about that? Uh, Steve, low bid pending specs or something like that? You, you can accept the lower <coughs> responsible bidder based on clarification as to what the bid encompasses the work that's being accompanied. Or you can declare that bid as not being as detailed enough to let you know as to whether or not. They're going to haul off the material. If they're just tearing it down, it doesn't do you any good. They want to clean it. Yeah. Also on 416 East Jefferson, uh, he is filling in the basement and leveling the lot there. You know, does Terra Pro know that there were two yeah, the basements? It doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to level the lot. So yeah. If you're going to award it to him, you need to make sure that you have clarification. Anthony. So you're comparing everything. That little square paper that was on well, the that one envelope was apparently they paper. were <clears throat> they were bidding on uh, the specs that we had in the uh, ad. What does it say, Anthony? What does it say? Who is okay, it gives the location. All lots to be cleared off and leveled. Bids to be opened at 6:30 p.m. December 22nd, 7th. Doesn't say anything about basement then. No, doesn't say anything about basement. But you can't basement. level a lot without filling it. And if that's the bid specifications, you can hold the lowest bidder to those specifications. But, but he's <clears throat> got to fill in the basement. That's what you're going to have to clarify. Well, you couldn't level a lot. Both of those are tied anyway, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, how are you going to level a lot if you don't fill in the yeah, basement? Yeah, yeah, that's automatic. You yeah, can't I, level I, a basement without filling it. I agree with Angelo. Go with neat cut, neat cut because he specifies for thirty-two, thirty-two hundred dollars. He's going to do that. What he's going to do. I mean, they both are even anyway. He gave more details, so I feel more comfortable going with neat cut on that one. Yeah. Okay. How about that? Yeah, I think that sounds reasonable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Neat cut. That's on uh, Klein Street. Klein. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, South Future. I had eighteen hundred for me. Uh, need to cut twenty-two fifty. They were high, four hundred and fifty dollars. And of course, again, they have specified what they're going to do. But it's a lot lower. We can get clarification, maybe. And Four. Aren't they told when they submit bids to be more detailed? I mean, or is it just inferred by well, the description? And well, I'd say from now on in our in our ad, we need to got to be more specific. Well, we need a detailed description. Yeah. Of the bid, we could make make a bid sheet out where it shows what they got to do, and they could itemize uh, I think, it. Yeah, I think that's that's yeah. But yeah. that doesn't help us now. No. no. Only thing we can, I, I say, to do there on the ones that, I mean, I know he did what? He was a low bidder on McKinley. And Future. And Future? No, Nick got, was, yeah, you're right. McKinley and uh, Jefferson and the Future, he's a low bid on three of them. Yeah. And two of them, and they both have uh, <coughs> basements. Only thing I know to do, you know, Awarding the bid pending 
you know confirmation confirmation we can give that up to Jim so hey listen you know and the thing is about that basement they got a they got to punch holes in that basement per EPA standards to allow for drainage to go through yeah I mean it's just not filling in a basement anymore you know it's and he can't use part of the house to fill in the basement so I mean, they need to well, understand that. Well, or do, do you know who TerraPro is? I'm sorry. Do you know who TerraPro is? I think he's on carbon yeah. and uh, chest data, yeah. carbon and wall somewhere there. Right here. Do you know who this TerraPro is? <coughs> the the other bidders. Yeah, out there on West Main. Copeland and. No, walnut or, or chestnuts. Yeah. yeah. This is Krill Springs right here. Is who? Pleasant Valley, Terra Pro. Yeah, I know where his place is down there. He's been around a while because he bid stuff at the county before. Pretty good outfit. Huh? <clears throat> well, I think well, you have to submit it to, as subject to verification. And if, if they don't meet it, then we it goes to the next bidder. Can't you do that? In a I don't motion? see why that won't work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Neat Cut has got. Neat Cut would have uh, West Goodall. And West Klein. And West Klein. Okay. Okay. That, that'd be my motion to approve those two for Neat Cut. Neat Cut. And his Second. Call rule. Okay. Commissioner Ranella. Yay. Commissioner Hightower. Yay. Commissioner Webb. Yay. Commissioner Goss. Yay. Mayor Butler. Yay. Now who's going to check uh, with Terra Pro? Jim is. Jim, you take yeah. care of that? Yeah. Okay. My, my motion will be to uh, award uh, 803 McKinley, 416 East Jefferson, and 301 South Future pending clarification through uh, codes of the uh, description of the uh, uh, removal and the, the clearing of the lots. Second that. And, which, and one of basement. These, which one of these had a basement? 803 McKinley and okay. 406 East Jefferson. Two of them did. Two of them got basements. 416, right. yes. Okay. It's, uh, and and, 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 and it, if he doesn't meet it, then it goes to the next bidder? I mean, you want to include that? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's, yeah, that's yeah. just... It'd be it, that we accept the next bid if this doesn't meet the specs. But he, yeah... Okay. But he can also, I mean, he can do the 301 South Future. It doesn't have a basement. But if he doesn't feel like he can do McKinley and Jefferson for those prices, then well, yes, they go to the next bidder, right? Yeah. Okay. So are you awarding 301 South Future to? He was the low bidder. Subject to? Yes. But, I mean, yeah. that one there didn't have a basement, apparently. Yeah, but he's still got to comply with the leveling yeah. and hauling off to appropriate. Uh, yeah, an EPA. Yeah, you know, that's you know that's the one thing, and I agree with Jim. In the future, we'll we'll make a bid sheet, attach it. Yeah. To the bids and. Uh, That'll take care of that. Yeah, okay. All right. Th this this is your motion then. Yes. All right. Well, I'll second it. Second. Right. Angelo Angel already did. Angelo already okay. did. We've, we've, we've got the two for uh, yeah, knee, knee cut. cut. Now this is for Terra Pro. Terra Pro. Okay, we've got a motion made, second, call roll. Commissioner Vanella. Yay. Commissioner Hightower. Yay. Commissioner Webb. Yay. Commissioner Goss. Yay. Mayor Butler. Yay. Okay. What's the business on the double wide mobile home? At 1120 West Hendrickson. Anybody know what that's about? Yeah. And so that's over on the corner of Bentley and Hendrickson Street. There's a vacant lot there. They're going to put a double wide trailer on the foundation. Bentley and Hendrickson. Yep. Double wide. This going to comply with the zoning? Yeah. Okay, I assume the uh, lot's vacant right now. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, you uh, suggest it will be an improvement? Yes, indeed. Very much. For that neighborhood? <laughs> oh. Okay, anybody have any other comment or question? I concur. All right, need a motion. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Call the roll. Commissioner Ranella? Yay. Commissioner Hightower? Yay. Commissioner Webb? Yay. Commissioner Goss? Yay. Mayor Butler? Yay. Okay. <clears throat> Consider approval of municipal power of attorney to select energy partners to seek aggregation bids on behalf of Southern Illinois Electricity <coughs> Aggregations Consortium. Uh, can you give us a little explanation, Gail? Okay, a little explanation. Uh, in a conference call about on um, the 14th, around about the 14th of December, uh, the mayor participated in our current energy consortium, consortium um, had a discussion with the consulting firm, um, which the Select Energy, which we've been worked with for the last number of years, and was trying to get uh, put out bids already for our uh, energy aggregation. Um, Mayor, I think it was about 36 cities that they have in the current yeah. aggregation uh, in Southern Illinois, and so they would be bidding for <coughs> us and for the others. We would get a bid price back, but they were starting sooner, and Mayor, you participated in the call, if you want to add. Uh, yeah, but before they can submit uh, uh, anything, they've got to get power of attorney from every one of the communities in the consortium. So they're all being asked to uh, pass the same ordinance. And it's really a pro forma kind of a, a thing. It, it's something that has to be done for them to submit requests for bids uh, for electricity. And they wanted to get it done like within a week's worth of time to get all the power of attorneys in. So yeah, the mayor felt he needed to get that done uh, right. with the council action later. They haven't started the bidding process yet. And um, our, our Aggregation, current aggregation isn't up until June. But if they find and can lock in a lower rate than the Ameren rate, they will do that sooner instead of later. So that's, this is just the council and authorizing. Just extend the agreement? Uh, the agreement would be, it, it'd be a new agreement. <clears throat> They're also adding um, the a gas consortium uh, in also that will be uh, another bidding process later. Yeah, but that'll be bid separately. Yes, electricity. Yes. Yeah. But it's going to pick up more cities in the middle and southern part of Illinois. Yeah. So this is just authorizing that uh, Select Energy could go ahead and count us on the part of the consortium. They uh, tell us, <clears throat> we, we know uh, that the rates are, are, are going up uh, and, and there's nothing that can be done to keep that from happening, but because of the fact that we've got the aggregation, we will be able to get a lesser rate. Of course, Amron is, is the, the bar, the standard, and uh, the whole idea is to have a rate lower, cheaper than Amron's. And uh, much to my surprise, electricity rates fluctuate almost daily and uh, when, when you have somebody like uh, this outfit uh, watching they, they can catch the best rate that comes along and it might not last more than a couple hours and it could go up <coughs> yeah. so th this is why it's imperative they, they know that the rates are going to go up they're on a upward trend and uh, what we hope is that they can catch it on a down swing yeah but that does, and Jim Jim correct me if I'm wrong we may buy electricity from Ameren at this rate and Ameren go out and buy electricity from somebody lower yeah for their own for their own use is that not right yeah in Illinois because they don't have any generation in Illinois so right yeah it, but whatever they sell they've yeah. got to buy yeah so, well, their, their distribution, that's, that's what yeah. they do. And I think for the nuclear's up north, they've had to raise, they're going to raise rates to cover costs. 
nuclear plants. So yeah. we are going to see some break increases going on here. Good. My light bill was only three hundred and sixty dollars last month. <laughs> <laughs> Your light bill was how much? Three sixty. Shoot. Well, why do you keep them on all night? I don't know, but I'm going to look check into it. <laughs> three sixty. Three sixty. You must be hooked up to Illinois Power. I'm looked at SCIC. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, anyhow, I'm wild. So the individuals opt out of that. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. They get letters. Any individual uh, user can opt out. They usually they don't get as good a rate as if it's a. Yeah. yeah. What What happens is they, they opt out and then they're uh, hooked up uh, with Amron, whatever their rate is, and they're typically, high. traditionally, our rate is lower than Amron's, and, and of course that that's the uh, uh, object to keep our rate lower than whatever Amron's rate might be. I so, make a motion we approve item three, Mayor. That's okay, we got a motion made. Is there a second? Second. Call the roll. Commissioner Vanella? Yay. Commissioner Hightower? Yay. Commissioner Webb? Yay. Commissioner Goss? Yay. <coughs> Yay. There's a little question there. Okay, you got the Hub Recreation Center employees? Yes, um, there are five employees for part-time, and I'm, I would say that we have some employees, as I know the mayor has said before, are we adding new positions or are these positions to be filled? Uh, these are pretty much filling positions. Every semester when we have uh, college classes reschedule, you know, a new schedule come up. We have some of our current employees that cannot work the schedules they had, so we have to look for other part-time employees to fill in some schedules. Um, also, it's volleyball season, so we were adding a volleyball instructor um, for part of our teams. So we have uh, Bradley Marks for membership and cafe, Gary Hale for sports and recreation, Ashley Palmer for membership and cafe, Jake Klo for volleyball instructor, and Zachary Nave for a membership cafe. And those are all um, part time, less than uh, 20 hours per week. Okay, well, that was my, of course, always my question. Are we creating new positions or simply filling? Existing position. We're filling times that we need people to work. Yeah. I'll make a motion. We approve the aforementioned personnel at the aforementioned salaries and titles at the hub. I'll second that. Got a second call room. Commissioner Vanella? Yay. Commissioner Hightower? Yay. Commissioner Webb? Yay. Commissioner Goss? Yay. Mayor Butler? Yay. Okay. That seems to take care of the. Uh, agenda pretty well. Anybody have something we need to take up? You're back. Huh? Okay, this is I noticed that we got <coughs> the to pay premier back. reporter Rick Hayes back at our audience <coughs> today. I thought that yeah. was a familiar yeah. face. Yeah. And I it's thought, nah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just filling in. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I need to pay on. bills in the consent agenda. Yes, you do. Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion, motion. to pay the bills as a uh, Monthly bills as funds become available. <coughs> Second. Call roll. Commissioner Vanell. <coughs> Yay. Commissioner City Hightower. Commission. Yay. Commissioner Webb. Yay. Commissioner Goss. Yay. Mayor Butler. Fire Department yeah. 22 that. You, ever since Angelo and Jim's got on it, they were higher than the police department. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Don't> figure. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, all right. What about the consent agenda? I'll make a motion. You, you didn't vote. Oh, I didn't? No. I abstain. Okay. <laughs> Take a motion to pay the consent agenda. Second. Call the roll. <coughs> Mr. Manella? Yay. Mr. Hightower? Yay. Mr. Webb? Yay. Mr. Goss? Yay. Mayor Butler? Yay. Okay. This is the last regular meeting of the year. Happy New Year, and I move we adjourn. Second. Oh, in macro, that was quick. Happy to keep here and move that we adjourn for the second call to roll. Who made the motion? Oh. John Doss. And second. Quick draw, McGee. Okay, Commissioner Vanella. Yay. Commissioner Hightower. Yay. 
Commissioner uh, Webb, Yay. Commissioner Goss, Yay. Mayor Butler. You know, you have it. Happy New Year, everyone. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh. You have an answer to why the city commissioners are higher 